all <coughs> my name is Ashutosh and uh, this is Ansible part 5 so today we are going to launch CSR in Microsoft Azure and then what we will do we will go ahead and we will configure it using Ansible so uh, if you want to launch uh, CSR in Azure then what you need to do you need to go ahead and you need to click on create a new resource then here you need to type CSR then hit enter here you will get multiple CSR with you so uh, let's use the top one CSR 1000 V and it is 16 point whatever the version is okay so you, you need to choose the correct uh, version according to your requirement so let's click on create so uh, here we need to put the name of or virtual machine so let's name it CSR V I need to put my username so let's use this code 1234 let's use the version 16.9 and use so you cannot use the existing resource group so we need to create a new resource group so azure demo sorry csr demo rg all right so this is the name of resource group let's click on ok location is west india since i am located in india and uh, how many interfaces do you want to use so if you will see over here the ds2 version 2 is being used over here so v2 means the 2 vcpu if i change the number of interfaces to 4 then this version will change so it's one standard ds3 v2 which has 4 cpu vcpu and a 40 14 gig of ram so for this particular lab environment we don't need four interfaces we will use the lowest one manage disk enable okay then uh, custom data it is set to default availability set yes uh, the router will be in uh, availability set uh, if you are not aware about the availability set then uh, please go ahead and have a look on my uh, video of the availability set uh, so basically um, the availability set uh, you can say uh, it is just like a virtual i am saying it is just like a, a, your data is placed into different data center which are in two different flood zone kind of scenario the next event next one is update domain so uh, update update domain is uh, chosen as 20 so uh, regarding the update domain i cannot explain you but if you want to have more detail then you can have a look over here uh, so let me tell you what is the update domain so for example if you have uh, if you have a cluster running and um, if you have chosen single update domain then uh, there are chances that when uh, uh, Microsoft is doing some maintenance in their backend then uh, your resources may get restarted so it's better you choose the high number in case of the update domain so in case if they are doing some maintenance then uh, your all resources do not get restarted at the same time so basically it is uh, stopping your resources to go down while uh, Azure is doing plant maintenance and they are restarting some services okay so let's go ahead and uh, use the default storage account right uh, let, let's name it something else done what is that this cannot be used is it good now yeah that's good now let's use it public IP then uh, let's use new virtual network new subnet everything we are using new we we can uh, choose the different the uh, the pre-configured one if you have any pre-configured one but I'm not using the pre-configured one I'm choosing a new one so uh, it's just going to do, do a validation in the background uh, the validation will include whether you are subscribed to use this much resources for example uh, the free trial is uh, uh, eligible for at least four or maximum four vcpu if i am using a resource which contains eight vcpu then this uh, validation will fail oh good we have a validation filled right now 
So it says uh, the operation result in exceeded the maximum quota limit of the core. The maximum allowed is 4 and currently in use 3. So that's the trouble. I need to delete something now. Mm, let me go back. If I can run it with the single. No, that's not possible. So let me pause this video and I will need to shut down uh, one uh, instance of mine and then uh, we will come back and I will retry it. So this is one of my VM. So it had uh, two vCPU. So what I am going to do, I am going to change it to the CPU number one. In other words, I am just making it uh, from two vCPU to one vCPU. Sorry for my language. So one vCPU is available here. So let's use one, this one, and resize it. So let me pause the video once again, and then I will be back soon. Mm -hmm. So what I have done, I have changed the resources. And uh, let's see if this, yeah, it passes now. So what I had done, uh, I was running out of the uh, CPU according to my subscription. So what I had done, uh, I had uh, changed the resources for my existing VM and I changed it from 2 to 1. So now uh, I'm using 4 vCPU. So let's click on OK and uh, we need to accept the terms and conditions and then we will be good to log in into this particular router. So let's create and it is going to take some time so let's wait for it to come up and then we'll go ahead and log in enter so finally my resource is up so let's go to the resource and uh, oh, i came to all resources oh. where's my csr csr what should be here is let's click on create sorry connect Let's not do that. Use the IP address. Let's choose new one. Assess a total net connection. Come on, what are you doing? Cisco one two three four. Address. So finally we are up in this particular box and in the next video what we will do we will go ahead and uh, we will start with a simple ping command or we will log into the device and um, put show version command. So thanks for watching our video. Please subscribe to our channel. Thank you.